Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go on to a process of where we're going to do facing, rough turning, and finish turning. To do this, you have to be in edit. And when you go into edit, it'll bring this screen up. I took the liberty of already putting the fixed form to start the program. So we've already got a tool change, uh, a, a blank defined. So all we want to do is the cycle. So if you go right arrow, cycle, and you get all these choices. But we want to do turning. And with the turning, there's a lot of different uh, categories you can use, but the one we want to use today, we're going to do outer roughing and finishing, where it'll rough the part and finish it with the same tool. When you select that, all the processes are the same. First you tell it how to cut, and then you define the geometry. So you got to answer all these questions. It says which direction in Z, minus Z. The cut depth will say three millimeters. You always press input to input the data. 100% of rate cut depth. This is the amount of stock. We'll say one millimeter for finished stock. One mi millimeter for Z stock. One thing I want to make sure I emphasize, when it's got an asterisk, you don't have to answer that. So you can go by that if you want to. Then the feed rate, so we'll say 0.254 input. The feed rate when it does a relief, 0.254 input. The cut rise feed rate, the finish feed rate, 0.127. Then there's three tabs. You have to fill out all of them. And we'll say cutting on the cut rise method. You always want to use that, always, because otherwise it'll mess you up. The escape amount, we'll say two millimeters. The clearance, two millimeters, two millimeters. This is sort of programming 101. You always use that kind of clearance. The approach motion, this is just how the tool approaches the cut. So those are always in there on both of these, the pocket cutting and overhang. You always pr put cutting in there. I'm not going to go into detail to explain why, but just always use cutting. Then you have one more tab, in-face machining. What this will do, it'll do an automatic facing cycle. You want to use that. Press available, and we'll say there's one millimeter of stock. So we've answered all the questions. So at this point, you can press insert. Then it comes up and asks for the geometry of what we're going to turn, okay? All we have to do is define the finish profile. You don't have to worry about approach moves. The control will do all that figuring for you. So we're going to start at zero and zero. Then say okay. Then this is just like a, a CAD system. You can start drawing what you want to do. So we'll do a line going up. The first diameter we're going to turn is 25.4 millimeters. It's not tangent to anything, and it's part of the actual part we're defining. We say OK. It draws a line. We want to put a corner chamfer on that. All you do is tell it the size of the chamfer. So 1.5 millimeters. We say OK. And you can see it's building all these lines of geometry up here. So now we want to do another line going to the left and we're going to go minus 25.4 millimeters. Input that, say OK, and see it's drawn the geometry as we go through. We want to do another line going up to 49 millimeters because we got 50 millimeter stock. We say OK again. It draws that. We put another corner chamfer of 1.5. OK. One more line going to the left, minus 50 millimeters, which is two inches. So we've drawn all that. That's a geometry that we want to create. But within Manual Guide I, the figure has to be closed. So we have to make another line going up to 50 millimeters, because that's our stock size. Then down here where it says part, now we're defining the blank. It's important you do that, because then Manual Guide I knows where the stock is to be removed. Then once we do that, we say OK. 
So it draws that little line. At this point, we want to close the figure. You go right shift three times, four times to block line continuous. What that will do is close the figure for you. Number one is an OD, number two is an ID. We want number one. It'll come up and say, are you sure that's what you want to do? You say yes. So it fills in all of that. Then you press create. We want to insert that in the current program. We say okay. So now it's creating a program and dumping that into the actual part program. At, after that, we just press end. And we go to end the program. We press insert. So that's done rough and finish and facing the part. If you have any questions about the material we covered today, email us at quicktips at fanicamerica.com.